multicentric Castleman's disease is a so-called benign lymph node disorder uh, in which patients notice that their lymph nodes get enlarged, they may notice lumps and bumps. Uh, they also get sick. Uh, they can get night sweats, fevers, uh, malaise, fatigue, uh, and they can lose weight. Um, in more severe cases, uh, patients can become uh, uh, quite ill. Uh, they can develop organ failure, kidney failure, they can wind up on a respirator uh, and eventually die. So although it's not strictly speaking a cancerous uh, disorder, it is a very uh, uh, significant uh, disease uh, which can be life-threatening uh, and has a serious impact uh, on the patients suffering uh, from Castleman's disease. Um, in terms of treatment, um, and I'm referring here to patients who are not infected with the HIV virus, there is really no standard of care for Castleman's disease. Um, there are only uh, small series and case reports uh, uh, in the literature. Uh, no large studies have been conducted because it's a rare disease. It's a so-called orphan uh, 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 disease. So no systematic studies uh, have been performed thus far uh, in Castleman's uh, uh, disease. Um, commonly used treatments are uh, uh, steroids. There is a monoclonal antibody which is used in lymphoma. It's called rituximab. Um, but as I said, there's no true standard of care.